Yeah, I'm from Indiana. Check my tattoos. I'm pulling bad women. Plus, I'm icy too. Terra Ho, a level above. Nobody do it like I does it. Show my city love. Hooked up with Nisi, now I'm making moves. Went from a double wide trailer to nine rooms. All my country boys, let's get blood. Cops coming. Throw them balls like Andrew Luck. My money long. I'm paper chasing, I'm falling now like Indiana Pacers, Evansville, Gary 2, Nap Time, let's act the fool, Fort Wayne, come on let's ride, let's show them how these goons do it in the crooked eye, I'm putting on with every song, this white boy's repping Indiana till I'm dead and gone, I'm from Indiana, I'm from Indiana. I'm Fatboy Dan. I want to tell you guys about a great combination I put together. And if you was to ask uh, some of the guys on the pro circuit in the bass fishing world or the catfishing world what's in their arsenal of fishing, whether it's bass fishing or catfishing, what's some of the names they trust in the outdoor world, well, I'll tell you what the odds are. They're most likely to tell you it's Abu Garcia. And the reason why Abu Garcia over the years has earned the trust of many anglers. And the reason why is because when money's on the line, you need something that's going to be able to have your back. Just like a great firearm, you're going to need something that's going to last you a lifetime. And that's just possibility. You may just love so much that you'll pass it down to the next generation. And I'm here to tell you guys something about a rod and reel combination I put together. That I like to call the 4x4 of the fishing world. Now, being said, I can adapt this rod and reel, whether I'm bass fishing to cat fishing. This is going to have me covered. And in between that area where I can sturgeon fish, I can go after pike, I can go after muskie, or I can even hit the Michigan places for some salmon. And I want to tell you guys about Abu Garcia. And I have the Abu Garcia. I had the opportunity to test this. It's the Abu Garcia Black Max. And I got this teamed up with Abu Garcia Ambassador uh, Royal Power Plus Reel. And I'll tell you more about the reel in a minute. But let me tell you about this rod. Now this rod is a six foot six inch. It's not too long, it's not too short. So whether you're bank fishing or you're bass fishing from the boat, you're gonna have the length that you need because a six six is an all around great rod. And when you have that six six with eight guides all the way down it, and them guides are placed evenly down that six foot six rod, it's just gonna allow your rod to actually have the bends that it needs when it needs it. Now these uh, guides, are coated with some kind of coating that when your reel comes up or when your line comes up with a little bit of debris on it, your line's going to slide right through and that debris is going to kind of fall off. So it's not going to be getting caught up in your uh, eyelids. Now this rod actually says you can hold 8 to 15 pound line and that's why I adapted it for catfishing. Because when I'm catfishing, my catfish is going to fall in between the 8 and 15 pounds. Actually guys, you guys know my fishing. They're itty bitty. So it's really going to handle it. So back to that. 8 to 15 pound line, well, of course I got this strapped up with 20 pound line, and this has 24 tons, and eh, it's not like 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 a log spitter, 24 tons, you're just going to come out, bam, slam the biggest catfish you're going to get, no, and in fact this ain't the biggest catfish rod, in fact if you're out to big catfish, this ain't the rod, but if you're out to big bass, or you're out to some medium sized uh, channel cats, or blue cats, or even small flatheads, you know, because there's blues and flatheads running that same range, you can't always catch the big fish, but this right here has 24 tons. And the 24 tons, I like to call them, they're modules that run through this. I like to call them lateral nerves. And the reason why is because I have uh, nerve damage in both my wrist and elbows, carpal tunnel. So I know a lot about nerves. Now these 24 tons, these modules that run down, these nerves are going to run down through this. And actually get this back part open. If you want to know about this back part open, well, when I'm sitting here bass fishing, and I'm sitting here fishing like this, and it's got this back part open, which is actually surrounded by a nice... Uh, foam grip here, a nice foam grip here with the trigger. Well, as my lateral nerve right here in my wrist sits here, and I'm out here casting, and I'm reeling it up, and I'm reeling up, I'm saying, hey, kids, no, whoa, 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 kids, no, no. And I don't see that bite, and, I, and a little little baby bass or a little baby catfish or even a big something hits it. And I, and I, and I don't see it because, you know, sometimes you see that you, you watch your tip, you wait for it to bend or something. Well, that uh, modular the nerves are going to send a, a shock wave down to the line. The line's going to hit the reel. And it's going to vibrate to the end of this right here on the, uh, where your pistol grip is. But also, the uh, rod is going to get a little bit of a, a, a little bit of, I mean, just a, 
like that. When I, when, even when I go like that, I can feel the shock wave come to here. So I'm like this, and I'll feel that shock. I'll know right there. It'll send it down, send it through here, hit right here to my nerve. My nerve's going to send it up to my brain. I'm like, no, no, bam. And I'm going to step back. I'm going to crank before I yank. The reason why is because this, these modules are like nerves, man. They're going to allow me to uh, communicate. It's going to allow my arm to communicate with the rod. And therefore, that's where we come together at. Now, this says it can handle one-fourth to five-eighths of a, a lure. Well, that, that's great for the situation for your bass fishing. But myself, I put it past that. Now, what they recommend is one thing, but what an angler wants to push it past, you know, just like cars said so they can do 120. You know what? Put a little bit of nas in it. Boom. Next thing you know, you're going 160. You're going to push the limits. You're going to push it to an extreme. And that's what I did with this. I was able to cast a one and a half ounce uh, weight. I even cast a two ounce. Now, no, by no standards, do not cast a two ounce. Do not try that at home. You know, you, maybe you'll snap yours. I don't know. Now, I casted a one and a half. It casted pretty good. Now, one ounce, tremendous. A one ounce. When, I, when I'm channel cat fishing, I like a one ounce because um, my channel cats on the Wabash River are not big. In fact, they're not really big at all. So the one ounce is going to be able to allow me to cast as far as I need. And the half ounce, if I want to go down a little bit smaller, is going to allow me to cast it great. Uh, now this did one ounce perfect because in, in small channels, uh, channel cats when they're on the sandbars or they're in the feeder creeks, a one ounce is going to hold me where I need to be held. But then, if, if I want to get back to bass fishing like I am today, I'm out here bass fishing today. I can adapt this rod and reel combination back. And the reason why I can combination it back is because I had this teamed up with Abu Garcia Ambassador uh, Royal Power Plus. This is an odor reel. Now, sometimes, like I said, odor reels, odor rods are still good. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's outdated. In fact, you know, people drive old cars. You know, old cars, and they still drive just as good as new. And this is a Royal Power Plus. This is a 381 gear ratio. Now this, uh, Abu Garcia makes two different models. And what I mean by two different models, they make the Abu Garcia, which has a Chinese ball bearings. It's a little bit cheaper. Maybe it's going to fit into your budget range. Then they got the Abu Garcia that when they're stamped with the Sweden edition, when they're stamped with the Sweden edition, that means they got the better ball bearings. And if you're a roller skater, you know about the ball bearings. Myself, I'll be a roller skater. I'll be up there doing a crazy. I'll jump the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie. You want to do the crazy legs. You need them ball bearings that's going to allow you to roll forever. And that's what these do. So whether you're casting it, you're going to be able to cast it. And the ball bearing is going to flow it, smooth it, roll it, reel it just tremendously. You're not even going to feel no, like grinding. Other ones, when they, you can feel them. But this is a 3-8-1 gear ratio. You know, the 3 is going to give you that uh, little bit of power. So whether you're, you're crankbait like this right now, that 3 is going to allow you to get that retrieve to actually uh, crank your crankbait into the ground a little bit. Or whether you're pulling in a little bit bigger catfish, you got that winching power. Now you team that up with the 8. The 3 plus the 8 is going to give you a better gear ratio. Now you can really dig them crankbaits in a little bit faster at a, a faster retrieve. Maybe you want to burn a spinnerbait. You can do that. Then the one, the three, eight, one. Now I like to call the one, one when you team this up with me, we are one together. You know, this rod and reel combination with me, we're one together. Now this is a smaller reel. This is actually more smaller than the, um, um, the other reels in the Abu Garcia lineup. And that's why I said this was perfect for this. I didn't want a reel that was going to be over tremendous on this. I didn't want a reel that was over big bulky for this. This combination together it teams up so nicely i mean the balancing when it comes to balancing it, it's it's balanced perfect this is where your uh, the power of the handle is going to be this is going to be your backbone and then you got your tip up there now this actually i have this strapped up with 20 pound line because when i'm channel catfishing i like to have 20 pound line even though the rod calls for 8 to 15 you can push it past it it's what they recommend but you know like i said 20 pounds when you're on the river you want extra um extra poundage in your uh, line because maybe you got a snag or maybe something like that. Now I'm probably not going to catch a 20 pound channel cat. Yeah, but I want that 20 pounds. So whether I have the one ounce uh, sinker on it and then I, I actually catch a tree or something on it along with my catfish, I got a five pound channel cat. Well, when I catch an extra tree with it, it's going to allow me to have that extra poundage that I need. Now this reel actually called for it. It says it will hold 10 pounds. Okay, 10 pounds and hold 150 yards. Now 12 pounds, 130, 14 pounds is going to hold 120 yards. In fact, I don't need 120 yards to cast. And if a catfish is going to run with my line, whether I'm striper fishing too, yes, I, this was a great combination for striper fishing. If you're out of Raccoon Lake, tremendous. Now i got this strapped up at 20 pounds. Now 20 pounds today, their lines are, are thick, yet their diameter are smaller. 
So maybe I got this strapped up. I'm going to say I probably got it strapped up with 90 to 100 pounds of yards. Now I'm going to be able to cast as far as I need. If something wants to strip my line more, I got it. If I get debris and, and nicks in it, I can cut it and, and keep retying all day with a tremendous amount of line that I can still over uh, have. And it's not overloaded. Now this has two handles on it, so which is great. You know, whether you, you just cast it real quick, you don't, you don't have to search for which handle. You know, you got one handle, you got to grab it here or there. You can get back to it real quick. It has a great um, drag system, uh, so that way you can let them play with a little bit drag. The braking system is tremendous. Now, this don't have a clicker. Uh, a lot of you cat fishermen, you guys like the bigger uh, reels with the clickers. That's cool and everything. But this is, like I said, this is just my, my channel cat fishing rod. Uh, bass fishing rod. Striper fishing rod. Now, if I was going to pick one rod that would be to adapt to every situation this is the rod and reel so you know tomorrow i want to go to the river and catfish bam this is going to have me covered i you know a week later i want to go to uh raccoon lake and go after some big stripers this is going to have me covered in that situation too you know it's not like you have to go out there and you have to buy a rod and reel for every combination yes you can do that and but in fact if you like me and you want to save some money this is when you adapt one rod one reel to any situation that you're going to be able to throw at it and that's what I did with this, man. This is an all-around catfishing rod. Now, this is not going to go after big monster catfish. If I lock onto one, I got faith in it, and I'll try to land it. I will try to land it. From panfish, yes, I even send panfish if I want to throw it out. Now, I don't recommend I'm going to sit there and go after some panfish with a 20-pound line. But if it just happens, if I just wanted to do that. I love this rod for uh, creek fishing, uh, whether I take my canoes out or whatnot. This is just an all-around thing. And, and channel cats, you know, they just don't make a good channel cat rod out there. And this is where this come in. This is Abu Garcia Black Max, 24 tons, 6 foot 6, 8 guides up on it, 1 fourth to 5 eighths ounce. Man, I'll tell you what, if you're in the uh, mood or looking around for another fishing rod, whether you're bass fishing, cat fishing, striper fishing, sturgeon fishing, Mike Pus, Mike or, or uh, Muskie or anything like that, man, I'll tell you what, you guys need to look at uh, Abu Garcia, man. You know, Abu Garcia, this is not a rod and reel, it's a way of life. And I'll see you guys somewhere in the woods. We're on the water, man. Until another episode of Fabo Dan's Great Outdoors. I'm going to get back to casting. And I'm going to have a little fun out here on the water, man. I'll just show you. The sweet and ball bearings, no thumb. That's what they do. No backlash. Sweet and ball bearings, man. Smooth. Cast it, flow it, roll it. Tell you what, y'all live to fish. Fish to live.